Hey, hey there, guys. Uh, it's Candy Cane Wars here, or you know, Donovan. <laughs> That's better known. Uh, this is my camper. Uh, our tent trailer it's kind of falling apart. I gotta replace the canvas sections, and she'll be good to go again. And put some new wallpaper in. Um, like as you can see, the tears. And the canvas all all patched up with tape. Alright, the real reason I'm here today is um backpacking. It's fun, you know. It, uh, it's also good in dual or double as I, I do it a lot for gear testing. Um it's fun, one, to go on a nice hike and then you know to camp out in the middle of nowhere. Um it's another thing I don't like really uh, populated places your places are well known, I should say. Uh, I got a few hotspots that I like to go to. Or not hotspots, but uh. Anyways, backpacking gear. Um, this is not all my gear, but I'm gonna show you basics, pretty much. I definitely cut a lot of this out. I cut the weight of a lot of this. Um, I cut the size. You know, I, I need to add a um, first aid kit back in here and some other stuff. That's currently in another pack that I'm going to use for day hikes. Um, and there are just some basics, you know, ideas. Uh, not everything you absolutely need. Like, I definitely could cut a good two, three pounds off this pack. Um, and I could use a different pack um, right now. I'm just using an old Adidas backpack. Um, I got. You know, you get those tents and you get the webbing. They're supposed to hang up high. Uh, And put stuff in like a little shelf. Um, that's what I'm using right here. Carrying my sleep pad. I could go for a better sleep pad, but you know this says fine right now. It's I don't need a huge sleep pad. It's not winter. Um, I don't need them really thick. Uh, I like the thermal rests. They're real nice. Um, I apologize. You know that's uh, stitches. Yeah. Don't cut. Uh, don't use axes. Towards yourself. That's the lesson I know. Just had to relearn a few times. Okay, first pouch here. You know, it's uh, again just an Adidas bag. Um, first pouch, I have my stove. It's a little generic stove. Um, this is one of my stoves. This is my isobutane. Um, let's see if I can't rig myself up here so I can film you better. Okay, so there's the stove. You know, I got my isobutane in there. That's... Again, I don't have my tripod, so I have my stove right here, right? Um, isobutane. Push my pack over there. Uh, it's really nice. I like isobutane. Um, cold weather, it's going to freeze a little bit. But that's what the butane's in there for. It's, or I mean, uh, propane. Because propane has a lower freezing point, and it works better in cold temperatures. It's butane and propane. There's, you know, the first part of my stove. Um, it just kind of screws in like this. This works pretty good. It's not as good as like the MSR Whisper Light. Because I have to like get this lined up just right. It's pretty durable. Um, I've beaten, abused it. Uh, it's not as compact either as the Whisper Light, but it's a good generic stove. It cost me 12 bucks. Um, you open it, close it. At least there's that. Again, sorry, I don't have a tripod anymore. I'm trying to get you angled right. Uh, which is hard because this camera's kind of annoying. Looks pretty good, I guess. Um, okay, so I have a few add-ons just because I'm me. Uh, I have contacts that I wear, so I like a good contact solution. Just you know, a small travel bottle doesn't have to be anything too big. Um, this is also good for cleaning out cuts, just because uh, it's the saline, and saline your body produces it naturally. And, so on and so forth, but I have a small bottle just because, you know, I 
sleep in my contacts usually when I'm going backpacking or I'll carry a case. And I'll sleep in it like two nights. You're, it's not recommended to do that. Um, they have contacts you can sleep in, but this just helps re-moisturize them. And uh, if I get something in my eye, it helps wash that out. Or, you know, small wounds. Um, okay, and again, that first pouch, I have a pair of Patagonia gloves. Um, without the fingers, just something to keep your hands warm, protect your... Uh, <laughs> yeah, protect yourself. Not a good example. Um, I was not wearing gloves when I cut myself. You know, it covers up to there, so you just have your fingertips. Good for cold climates. You're doing something that you need your fingertips for. You know, regular gloves are kind of bulky. Uh, mittens work okay. Um, and then that's it for that. And then in this first pouch again, I have, you know, organizers. It is a backpack. It's not meant for this purpose, but it's great for this purpose. You know, I have pouches. Um... So in this pouch, I have lighters. Um, I have a few of these. I don't like to carry a lot of lighters, a lot of extra weight in lighters. Um, they're great though for tinder that's hard to light on fire. They don't, they freeze. So don't just rely on lighters. Um, I like them for my stoves too. I like an item with a fairing rod. Or ferro rod, uh, flashlight. You know, I got my can candling right here. Works pretty good. It's a nine LED flashlight. Um, I like it because I don't have to carry extra batteries. Cost me nine bucks. The solar flashlight works great. Have no complaints. Got it off of eBay. Um, nine LED. It's pretty bright. It's got that solar panel, so you know, in the sun, you just put it in the sun and it'll charge. Um, that's that's really good. That is it for that first pouch again. I don't have everything in here that I would normally use. Um, let's go ahead and take my mat out. Sorry, it's hard to do this stuff with one hand and no tripod. Okay, so taking the mat off. Space mat. It's been beat up from my last trip. They're cheap though, so I wasn't too worried. They get beat up real easy. They're that weird uh, closed cell foam. But you know, bushwhacking, not the best to have. Um, I think it's just for brand name. It's not brand name, it's a generic. Got it for like seven bucks. Um, you can backpack pretty cheap. You know, this is a little bit of my first aid kit, but it's not all of it. You know, I have the medical tape, some soap, a hand sanitizer, great for fire starter, a few extra batteries because I do have flashlights and stuff that take those batteries. But I don't have to carry them. Uh, I usually don't carry a whole lot of those. I carry like my regular flashlight, you know, and I got the alcohol swabs. Um, I, I don't have all my first aid kit in here again, and then I have that little patch to keep everything in there nice and dry. Um, yeah, I don't have everything in that pouch currently. That I normally have, you know, I have spare clothes that I bring. Um, this is just a pair of basketball shorts. Um, fillet knife. Uh, depends on where I'm going. Sometimes if I need. If I, if I don't bring another knife, I bring this, and it works great. Elk Ridge, so you know it's nothing too special. But she gets the job done. She's pretty sharp. First got it, I was sitting there doing that. And I was shaving the hair off my legs without even knowing because I'm not used to my knives being so sharp right out of the box. Um, I do always have a larger knife. I'm currently working on a project that it is a old kitchen knife that I've taken a jigsaw and cut into a smaller knife for bushcraft and such. Um, propane fuel. This is for another stove I have. Again, this was, would be one that I'd bring on a longer trip. I'm not going to bring this on something, some short trip, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that cap is on there, good. Um, but yeah, 
it just generally because propane is uh, it lasts longer. It's in a bigger can. Oh, this is a pound. That's I can cut a good pound off right here. Good one and a half, maybe two pounds. Um, taking the propane and my smaller stove, or it's larger than the other one, but um, still takes up a lot of space that I could be using for something else. But I could take a good two pounds off, just not bringing this in the other stove. But I do use it for longer backpacking trips. Like I said, I can cut a lot of weight because I don't even need this one. I just I have it in there to have it in there. Because um, we do have a longer backpacking trip coming up, and it's a good backup. Um, and that's at it in that second pouch, I do believe. And then I do like this top pouch here, right in my ferro rod. Um, ferro rod. And flashlight. I don't like to keep the batteries in my flashlights because they do wear out. Um, and that's in that top pouch. I like that top pouch. Um, okay. So, side pouches before I go on the side. Um, this is a nice little kit in itself. It's a shovel. It's really nice. Uh, it's got, you know, that saw. I don't use that saw. It's not very reliable, but I love this for scaling uh, steep, snowy cliffs. Because you dig it into the snow, and you can use it to scale down and up, or dig an entrenchment, like last time we went to Cuff Lake, the lake still had a ton of snow, you know, it just does that, um, ton of snow, and so, yeah, and then it has, this does not work, it's, I don't know if it's a can opener or a bottle opener, but it does not work for opening bottles, and then I've sharpened an edge of this, just, you know, another, uh, edge without any extra weight, um, and then there's a handle, wire saw suck. They suck. Do you, you just don't even waste your money on them. Um, they get stuck. They heat up. They get clogged with uh, all the bark and stuff. They're just basically a giant swivel. Yeah, it's, they're just no more good than a keychain. Um, smaller flashlight. You know, it's like they something I'd use. Just a small little pen light. Cancer. <laughs> Um, definitely love these, because they slip in places real easy. Uh, and the handle to the shovel, that also has a compass. Um, I got this on eBay again. Um, I don't like a whole, I don't have a whole bunch of generic stuff. I mean, a uh, brand name, but the stuff that counts, I have brand name. Okay, and this is a nifty little thing, although I do not like that it is from China great for smaller stick processing um yeah china it it has all these parts numbered and tells you what they are in chinese or japanese or mandarin or whatever um you have a little ruler uh, i believe that is i'm not sure what that is i thought it was maybe like compass angles yeah, the compass fits in there pretty decently. Uh, and then you got a set of different size wrench holes, a bottle opener, can opener, uh, edge, pry bar, little neck hole. I believe that's a gas shut off tool. I'm not really sure. Um, but it fits in this little thing right here. I have a survival mirror somewhere. Broke my larger one. That fits in this little thing also with it, because it's got lots of room in there. Um, that's everything I have in there. Then, you know, uh, all that. First pound, we'll set that stuff over there. So, you know, I have a good, decent, okay saw, um, pickaxe, shovel. You know, gotta take a. Gotta do your business. Um, and then, again, in the side pouch, I love fire starting. Um, I do have a fire kit. I don't have it with me. I'll do a video separate on that. Um, matches. And a little GI uh, thing I got from my grandfather. Uh, and just uh, the box. Cut the striker pad off and put it on there. Actually, probably. Let's 
see if I can fit it in. Uh, let's see if I can fit it in there. Oh look, it fits in there. Um, so there you go. Matches, again, another candling, fire starter, uh, stuff like that. That works great for the stoves too. This side pouch is where my water bottle goes. I just have a Nalgene or cheaper. I think, uh, the, again, I said I could cut a lot of weight and this isn't complete. Um, it's just a little flashlight. Takes batteries. Like that spotlight. Um, for my stove, I have fuel. This is one I've used, so it's got a little bit left in there, not a whole lot. Um, so I have a backup in there. They just screw on there like that. I like to save these because a lot of them don't come with that. Like MSR comes with them, um, but they're just nice to have because it keeps all that stuff out of there. When you go into the store and you see an individual Coleman, do not buy these online. They're cheap. They're way cheaper in the store. I paid 20 for this one and the other one, and I bought it online just because I couldn't. Uh, my store, I normally buy them at, didn't have any, and I needed them. And their next shipment was in like two weeks, but the, they cost a lot online. Like it would be five dollars for this one. And five dollars for the other, so I could have bought four of these for the price of two online. Um, so don't buy stuff like that online. Coleman again, four of these for thirty bucks. They're only two something. Cheap, 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 cheap. Is that propane? They're non-refillable though. Okay. So I have you know fuel, stove. Um, again, in this pouch, toilet paper. I would only bring one of these. Uh, but they're nice to have. Um, definitely nice to have to because they're compact. You know, you don't have to flatten and roll. Again, another fuel can. I use Gas One, um, and it's hard to find their containers like this anymore. But they have some half size ones. I like MSR too because there seems to last a good while. Um, Coleman does not come with these, so again, save those if you do get a can with them or you can buy those little caps separately just keep stuff out of there um and i have my cook kit which is huge all right just my stitches uh an ammo wear pot it's an ammo wear pot um i've made this thing to keep it closed up yeah a few things in here that don't quite apply to cooking um, if I can. So, tube tents. They're cheap. Um, they're good for ground tarps. Uh, I don't, I like to get little clasps and fold them in half and put the little, uh, I don't know what you call them. They're like rivets. They're on like regular tarps, little holes, uh, to reinforce the hole so it doesn't rip through. I like to put those on these. Because it's just cheap, easy, makes it a little stronger. Uh, they, they come with 25 feet of this nylon cheap rope. That's okay. They're great, but just not windy. Where I live, it, it gets windy. Uh, and then I have a little Coleman three piece knife, fork, and spoon set. That came in handy. We were on a two day hike, and one of my uh, fellow backpackers brought a thing of bacon and ended up melting his light my fire little plastic spork with a little knife serrated thing on it. Um, okay, so there's the pot, that, my tube tents. I fit a lot of stuff in there. I could fit a lot more. Uh, move my fuel over there. So, an uh, um, enamel wear cup. I normally have a blue one, but the blue one kind of got rusted through when it got smashed. Um, oh. Okay, there's a little utility knife. Uh, frost, or no, not frost, sorry, uh, patch, Appalachian Trail. 
You know, I got 25 kit of these of my ex, gave them out as like little gifts for everybody. They're decent quality for such a small knife. Um, I have bigger ones, I, I stash them places in the car. Uh, I keep that in my cook kit because that little butter knife does not work too well, it's not too sharp. So I keep this as just like a little steak knife. It works great for processing small branches too because it's, it's razor sharp. That so I don't stab myself. Don't have such a good, such good luck with sharp objects. Um, okay, so Tic Tacs. You ever know what to do with those extra, those leftover containers? Um, I've thought of a few things to do with them. What I do is I wrap mine with tape just to give it like a like gorilla tape, just to give them a little extra strength. You know, uh, seal them up and I fill them with spices like this one we were planning on fishing and eating fish for dinner um, so this one has lemon pepper which is great on fish lemon salt is even better uh, I can't find lemon salt so maybe it is just lemon pepper just a different version so tic tac container filled with seasoning holds a lot of seasoning it's fairly compact you could even wrap this in paracord or even more duct tape just to give you that extra but I put the duct tape on here just to give it a little extra strength um, rope. There's that 25 feet of nylon. It's not like the best nylon, but it's decent quality. Um, it'll work okay in a pinch to tie something up with. Uh, 25 feet is a pain. Um, normally I have bank line. Bank line, I've replaced 550 cord with bank line just because it's smaller, it's cheaper. It's stronger to hold a knot better. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is my rope. It's just a diamond braid. I think it's a decent test. Nylon rope, it's pretty strong. I got it for two bucks at a flea market. They were selling a hardware store. They went out of business. There is the propane stove. Again, it has a bottom piece also that goes on this. So it hold is just a lot of weight I could cut out. Um, so there's definitely that. That worked great. I've used this in a couple of my other videos. I like the jute twine um, stuff. I carry a lot of that stuff in my kit. And I have a lighter. Yeah, reliable. Um, and another flashlight. Again, I cut a lot of this weight out. Um, just you don't need all these flashlights. Um, normally I'll have a headlight and my rechargeable flashlight, or I even have this one, which is a crank, and you can crank it as many times, and it turns on two LED. Um, there's a little lock, but the lock broke off. There it goes. Um, that's it for that, and it's just like a big cooking pot. I was about the size of my head. I could definitely cut that out and get a smaller kit. But I like it in enamelware, you can throw it in the fire, you don't have to have a stove, um, or any of that, so you know. And I like the pot because it, it takes up a lot of room, but it has a lot of room in it to put stuff in. So I don't have to worry about too much having to go places. Um... Enamelware is pretty strong. And I've made a makeshift thing out of an old handle. It hooks over one of the the handles on the actual pot, and then on the rim of the other. So if you twist it, it comes in back. Um, so there's that pot. Not a whole lot of room on this table, sorry. Um, but yeah, definitely extra clothes, you know, if you have any special add-ons like I do. Um, I'll even occasionally, like, you know, if I'm doing survival testing, I go out there with a limited amount of food and eat what I can catch. Um, fish, you know, berries, stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool.
All right, and I'm running out of time here. Sorry, this runs so long. So in there I have my sleeping bag. I don't think I have anything else in there. Let's my camera down. And this is just a cheap little sleeping bag. It works great. Um, it, the brand of this, uh, got it for 19 bucks. has the compression straps. Really good. Um, again, I could use a different pack. Really good. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll do uh, sort of a part two. It'll be just like a fire kit and first aid kit in general next time. Alright, so you know, basics. I can cut a lot of weight out of this pack. It's a great pack. You know, it's not complete yet either. I don't have all the clothes. I don't have my food in here, obviously. Um, there's a lot of add ons. Like I said, this is just. Ugh, don't buy these. Is that, uh, you know, I have a lot of flashlights that I don't use. Um, I have fire steel, fire starter, I have a fire kit that I would put in here. Um, you know, my gloves, those are, uh, it just depends. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. Alright, don't forget to subscribe.